Thanks for joining us. It was a frightening scene in the sky over Lionel Lakes during the evening rush on Thursday night. A helicopter broke apart and plummeted to the ground, killing the two occupants on board. Brett Udy, who lives just 200 yards from the crash site near Main Street and Sunset Avenue, posted these photos on Facebook of debris he found scattered in his yard. Today, the Anoka County Sheriff's Office identified the pilot as a 48-year-old man from Minneapolis and the passenger as a 47-year-old woman from Blaine. Investigators believe the fatal flight originated from the Anoka County Airport. It's unclear where it was heading. The FAA is on scene investigating. Well, the third time was not the charm for striking nurses who once again rejected a new contract offer from Alina Management this week. Monday's vote means 4,300 Alina nurses continue to walk the picket lines at five Alina hospitals in the Twin Cities. And at this rate, the current walkout is shaping to be the longest nurses strike in state history. CTN's Jordan Rylance reports. After three days of contract negotiations, striking nurses voted this week to reject Alina's latest offer. Alina needs to be realistic about what they're offering the nurses. Um, I don't think that every aspect in the contract is what is fair um, you know, from the nurses' point of view. Alina officials and nurses are facing three major issues at the bargaining table a new health care plan, adequate staffing, and the safety of the nurses. Mercy Hospital President Sarah Krieger believes they've responded to nurses' concerns in their offers. We really have put many things on the table. We feel like the proposal was very fair. It addressed many of the issues that the union had. In 1984, 6,000 Minnesota nurses went on strike for 38 days. Today marks day 32 of the Alina nurses strike and with no future talks with Alina officials scheduled, it's shaping up to be the longest nurses strike in Minnesota history. While the strike continues, some nurses have crossed the picket line. The longer it goes, the, the more we have nurses who are choosing to work. While others make ends meet by getting part time jobs. Our nurses are smart. They are very resourceful. They have been doing things like donating plasma. Some nurses have gotten waitressing jobs. A nurse today um, told me she got a job at Target. Temporary jobs until they can return to the one they love. It's not the same without them here and I wish they would have never left. So to say I want them back is an understatement. In Coon Rapids, Jordan Rylance, CTN News. Alina has kept its hospitals running by hiring more than 1,000 temporary nurses from across the country. So far, the two strikes have cost Alina more than $40 million. The longest nurses strike in Minnesota was in 1984, and that lasted 38 days.